good my fellow introverts welcome back to my channel it's your girl Mina here back with another commentary video guys I'm here with another episode of Jitsu Kaisen guys this is episode 23 guys we're almost at the end this is the episode before the last one what this it's been a long ride I could tell you that this episode is called the origin of blind obedience part two so last episode we saw the special grade just showed up um when megami was planning to exercise another curse spirit which might kill his comatose or bedridden as he used to start and yeah it's about to go down and um i'm wondering how they're gonna do how are they gonna really end out this episode they have sukuna's fingers like what was the point in all of that like what else is happening what what was mahito's plan to send out the cursed spirit because we really don't know if the cursed spirit was after you know the the gang the crew <laughs> it seemed like he got there they got there first and he was like oh someone made it here before me it was like who do you want i wondered last video if um there was some kind of recruitment thing going on but i don't know if this cursed spirit can even you know leave its little incomplete domain i think it's called so let's get right into this video guys i don't even want to talk anymore let's get right into it <laughs> Okay, Yuji. So you telling me Yuji could handle a special grade by himself now? Okay, Yuji. Okay, Yuji. What? What's in that bloody spits out? Acid. Some kind of poison? Seems very acid like. Strawdoll technique. Resonance. This is like a game of whack a mole. Okay, Mega Me. I guess we just keep going like it's whack a mole, huh? Yeah. See? All the things we were worried about. Its techniques range, the number of victims, the barrier. All of those are subtracting from its main body. So we're lucky. The real problem comes after. Oh no! Kugasaki! Why did he take so long to turn around? Like, was he off balance or? I'll be fine. You just whack the mole. She keeps getting sucked into things. <laughs> but what was that just now? The mole? Probably. That earlier one? No. It's neither. Or the whole different one? What? Ogisaki? Oh, it's my older brother. He told me to. Oh! There were more than one, but I didn't think he would have, um. Mahito would have made more. Like, immediately. Kugisaki and that thing! Both went outside the barrier. She might be going up against something even more dangerous than we assumed. By contrast, things here aren't so bad. I can handle this by myself. Can you know? Save Kugisaki. Go. You better win, Megami. All right. But if things go bad here, then you follow us and get out. I mean, it's his sister's life on the line, so I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna listen. <laughs> Why? Who the age is this? Oh. We brothers were tasked with a certain errand, you see. Yeah, they were sent by Mahito. Okay, confirmed. An errand? Hmm. I presumed you were on the same errand. A cursed spirit or a cursed user? Which is he? And what is that smell? <laughs> were they sent to kill the cursed spirit? Why though? That could be their reason for doing that. Last one. You're not even trying. This is too easy. Yeah, you just you just jinxed it. You're making this too easy. <sighs> oh, so he won? Okay. The last of them. So, 
Tsumiki is safe for the moment. Now I just have to. Yeah, what's what's wrong? You jinxed it. I knew it couldn't be that easy. I shouldn't be trying too hard to find logic in a cursed spirit's behavioral patterns. But the fact is, that question's been nagging me this whole time. What? Why did it just now start killing the humans it had marked? The first one was killed back in June. And in June... Shit, it's high off of Sukuna's finger. That this is a problem. The last one they faced. Oh my god, so he's by himself. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna go well when he left. When Juji left. Ah, oh, guys, guys, come on. This is resonance. Sukuna's finger kept its power repressed within the cursed spirit that had absorbed it. But back in June. When Sukuna manifested in Itadori, it released its cursed energy. This one looks the same as the one from the juvenile that- I was saying that! What? I was like, why does it look like the one they fought before? I knew for a fact that Sukuna got rid of that. He did. But, it's probably several degrees. Stronger? <laughs> Oh. Stronger. No way. Damn. This is unusual. You rarely ask me to train you, Megumi. Are you trying to catch back up to Yuji? No. I guess beggars can't be choosers. It really bothers you that much to ask me for help? Listen, Megumi. I think you have just as much ability and potential as Yuji does. The only and Sukuna recognizes his talents, whatever it may be, even if it's for nefarious purposes, you know? Megumi, you don't know how to bring out your best, do you? Huh? Are you saying I haven't been giving it my best? I'm not saying you haven't, I'm saying you can't. But no matter how many allies you have around you, when you die you'll be alone. You can only piece together undervalued data on yourself and others. You can't imagine a stronger future version of yourself. You believe that in the worst case, you can resolve everything at the cost of your life. But at that oh. point, forget about beating me. You'll never even measure up to Nanami. Dying to win and risking death to win. Two different things. Completely different. Yeah. So he has a super secret power that takes his life. And he, that's, I want to say a curse exactly, but it's like, you know, if anything, if he really has to, he's going to use it. Yeah, it's very too different. Be greedier. Mm. Do the damn thing. Oh, you got popped. <clears throat> you got popped in the face. How many seconds was I unconscious? My demon dog's destroyed. No. no the technique was released. Oh. <laughs> I like the demon dog. So I guess. This is it for me. Sacred treasure. Secret swing. <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of a waste of your talents. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Are you finally going to see it? Because I'm excited. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Spit out the entire depths of my shadow. Worry about a specific structure later. Just push it out as soon as I collect the cursed energy. Imagine a future version of myself who's freely surpassed my limits. Oh, I can do that! Loving crazy, Megumi. It just takes the slightest trigger to change a person. Slightest. Domain expansion! No, he didn't! Chimera Shadow Garden! Did he just make that up on the spot? <laughs> it's incomplete. And it's ugly work at best. But for now, that's fine! That is cool. Look at Megumi!
me. That's totally unexpected. The interpretation. Go off. Go off. I have to say, this is kind of random for me. Like, <laughs> what? Demon dog totality's claws. We're able to injure that thing. So they'd have no trouble piercing through you when you're caught off guard. Good job, Megami. That really came out of nowhere. Like, damn. I'm tired. Now for the other guys. Where'd they go? Like, you're about to fall asleep. Good. That's very good. Oh, what does it mean? Why does he care about Megami? <laughs> They're teasing me at this point, honestly. They're being cruel, guys. Cruel. Next time you do it around me, I'll kill you. Yeah, but what did we ever do to you? Figure it out yourself, or die. Hey, you! Today I tell off Ikazawa and his gang, I'm not gonna be their stupid gopher anymore. Yeah, you tell him. Do it. No, but Ida, that's just gonna make me their next target. So do me a favor and don't try to yeah, be our own. <laughs> I'm done messing around. Starting today, I'm gonna tell him you're my new replacement. Dude, you'd sell out your best friend? You're damn right I Ooh. would. I guess everyone's fake here. You told me you wouldn't fight anymore. I hate bad people. They act so damn superior. When their empathy and imagination are as empty as a vacant lot. I can't deal with good people either. Because they forgive those bad people. Tsumiki's a perfect example of a good person. I detest you. God! Your father left the clan in order to have you. Megumi, your father was saving you as the ultimate card to use against the Zenin clan. Pisses you off, huh? <laughs> that solved the mystery of how they got enough money to disappear. Apparently, I've been sold to that Zenin clan. And yeah, huh? it pissed me off. Huh? Especially his lack of tact about it. And that irritating guy stopped my sale to the Zenin clan. And used the promise that I would work as a Jujutsu sorcerer as collateral. Gojo sucks sometimes. Oh my god. Tsumiki would get genuinely angry whenever I hurt someone. And that irritated me because I thought it was hypocritical in light of her leave others be policy. But now I realize I had the wrong idea. Just as I choose who I save, she was choosing me to worry about. Aww. I'm sorry. And she was really delight to his darkness because Megami as a child seemed sad. <laughs> Not sad, but like. Serious and brooding, like my stupid sister. <laughs> yeah, now that he exercised that, would would she wake up? This Yasahachi bridge curse was just overlapping the other one. Oh. I doubt the curse that put Sumiki into a coma was on that. So I figured. No, I just have to tell Itadori the news about Sukuna's finger. But how? <laughs> Fell asleep. <laughs> no. A huge presence just suddenly appeared. Has Sukuna's finger left the barrier? It has. You think you can mock me? Dancing around like that and still getting away? Oh. The thing is, I'm a bit insecure about my back, so it's only fair that I warn you. If you see my back, I'll be forced oh. to kill. <gasps> Kugisaki? Oh, here you are, brother. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? I'm sorry, brother. It wasn't on purpose. I didn't mean to see that. Oh, okay. That must be the source of that weird smell. Why don't you just cover it up? Because then it gets musty. Remark! Ew. Winking. <laughs> it's funny that he was hopping around. Just so no one sees his bag. How can he not tell that's who's gonna mess up on? Was he not given any information about that or? Well, that was a very good episode. I really enjoyed it. 
I must just say, I like that we learned some more about Megami. I like that we finally got to see his power. But I'm so curious as to what Sukuna's goal is with him. Like, what what's his obsession? He he doesn't even pay attention to Yuji <laughs> as much. <laughs> and I don't know. It's weird. What can Megami do for Sukuna? But basically, Megami is powerful because it seems like his curse techniques um or like his imagination so basically he lacked that he lacked expression in a sense and he he did that with a domain and he did a clone of himself he got his birds the frogs um it was really interesting it was cool and it wasn't even a complete domain right guys yeah, so i'm excited i want to see more from me i want sukuna to come out fully like i don't know I want him to pay attention to Yuji too. Like, I want him to have a relationship, even though it's an angry one. But damn, like, <laughs> does he not appreciate the body he's in? Like, damn, Sukuna. And there's no development with their friendship. <laughs> and I'm hoping they're friends one day, someday, you know, that it's somehow they find it in their hearts to forgive the current spirits. But I don't know where, where this anime is going to take me. But I'm excited for the ride. So like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Down below in the description box, there are links to my Wattpad stories, guys. Check those out. There's also links to my book recommendation site with personal reviews. So you can find a book right for you. Guys, check that out too. I have a lot of book lists on there. Um, yeah. And if you subscribe, you should subscribe, guys, to my website. You get access to promo codes and freebies. So, guys, check that out. And, yeah, that's it, guys. Until next time. <laughs>